Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So the 24 day drought is just about to finish right now any second. I will speed it up and there we go. Drought has ended. So let's go through a couple of changes that we have managed to get done in the last 20 or so days. Right, here comes the water. So the levee wall is almost complete all the way around. I had to set up a little blocker levees just to make sure that the water stays where it's supposed to be. And another one is, should be completed now by uh, Shaq Dillar over there. Right, um, yeah, so with this levee being done, that one right there, as soon as the rest of it is done as well, we can just remove them. But once this pool is filled, uh, the water should go around and make this area nice and green. With the, with the lower little canal that we have here, I have set up uh, an extra dynamite in each of those uh, little openings that we have. What I'd like to make sure is if it's at least, um, if this canal is at least three levels deep, that's gonna keep us nice and fertile. Or this whole area fertile, everything that's lower for 30 day droughts. Okay, so you've got nothing to do, that's all right. We shall send you somewhere else. What about you, where have you gone? Okay, you've gone all the way over there, that's fine. Right, so that's uh, that's one thing we have accomplished, I think. So once this section here is complete, I'd like the builders to start focusing on the mine. Because that's kind of been in the, in the lower end of our priority list this whole time. And uh, yeah, it's probably time to, to change that. No big changes in this section here. I have also, well, done most of the levees around here. And now we just have to rebuild the bridges and also this dam to allow the water to be a little bit higher. What I still have to figure out is how we're going to regulate the water. Right now I've left it at 2.5 so that should be fine. Okay, now columns. This whole area is now complete. We got beavers producing well they were. Uh, I guess we've run out of blanks now haven't we? No, there's still 11, okay. I guess they're just waiting for deliveries. Okay, there we go. So you've got the materials now. Um, yeah, the stockpile is looking okay. We also have our first column ready. And the second one is halfway there, so another 18 hours. Um, right, so since there's only one, I'm not entirely sure where do we need him the most. I'd say science would be the one, but unfortunately it is a beaver only building so they're not going to be very useful so I was thinking why don't we put them in the column factory because I've noticed that quite a few beavers get injured rather quickly when they work in these factories but uh, that requires 5,000 science points so we're gonna have to ramp up our science very very quickly right what is next I really want to keep an eye on this area here because uh, I have a feeling there's something missing somewhere and I'm gonna flood the whole colony. Uh, another thing I'd like to do is we need more beavers, working beavers. Uh, what do you mean it's too far? No, it's not too far. It's right next to the district center and I've just seen beavers walk through here as well. Um, maybe it's just recalculating. In case it isn't, well, there you go. Here's a road. I'm sure they can reach it. Okay, uh, moving on. Yeah, more beavers are needed. We have completed this section in here. And quite a bit on this side as well. They are now completing a couple more levees over here. But that's really the furthest we can go. So this means we are going to have to use... Oh, actually, I've just figured out what we could do with those columns. We could send them to a couple of these districts to start removing all the vegetation. That would be actually a pretty smart thing to do, yeah. Uh, you've also got nothing to do. I, 
wait a second, there is another tree in there. So why don't you deal with both dynamites? Oh, there are, but we haven't set them off yet. What about now? Oh, uh, wait a second. I know what it is. There you go. And I think we can also remove all this harvesting that we have marked up before. Right, fantastic. Here comes the water. How much have you guys completed? Uh, I should probably give you a slightly higher priority again. I would like this to be done before the next drought starts. I mean, I'm sure we we will be able to do that. But okay, so the pool has nicely filled up now. And the excess water is going down from both sides. Uh, it is night time, so why don't we actually skip this? To send columns into one of the other districts, we are going to have to send them some resources as well. Um, for that... Where are you? Labor distribution post. So I was thinking we could do an individual one somewhere here, but it, it, it's pretty massive and it's difficult to find a spot in here. And um, I don't think they will consume a lot of those resources. So yeah, I'm just going to place it right about there. Can we? Yes, we can go through. I know the distance is very long, but since it's only a couple of columns here, here and there, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we should absolutely be be okay. Uh, so that's, uh, that's one. If we get this completed, we'll send this column. I think we can do it already, right? Um, highest priority for you. We'll only put two beavers in here. And yep, we have one of you. Send you out. Ooh, what's this one called? District 5. All right, here we go. You go and work over there. I'll set it up to four because we can have a few more if you wanted to. Right, when's the next one ready? 82%. That is not too far away. And water, uh, it's still flowing through. Oh yeah, you guys haven't completed this yet. Uh, I guess we shall give you a slightly higher priority. Uh, yeah, they've got a few things already in the queue. Um, right, sweet. Let's look at uh, this levee wall here again. Uh, it's coming along, but pretty slowly. A few dynamites are ready, though, so let's sort this out very quickly. And there we go. So it seems we've got four spare beavers here. Which is a little surprising. I mean, there's always tons of construction pro uh, projects. So why don't we set up another another builder's hut? Somewhere here would be fine, I suppose. Yep, get this uh, built as quick as we can. And maybe a slightly lower priority on the employment side. Okay. How are we doing here? Oh, you are... You could use a few more builders as well. But we sent the column over. Where is he? Are you telling me he's just... Oh, okay. Fine. Um, this one is not completed. I guess we can just go around. There is a staircase right about there. So if you remove all this first... Yeah, it's quite a long way around, but I think we'll be fine. It's close enough. Right, off you go. So let's check this out as well. Okay, uh, we are going to need just a, a little bit more access. A couple extra roads should do the trick. And this water is flowing in very nicely as well. And one final thing we need in here is the uh, drop-off point. I almost forgot it. And let's uh, set up the route as well. So you are going to need, not the catalyst, biofuel. Okay. All right, perfect. So this uh, district is set up as soon as... Oh, we actually do have another column now. I guess we shall do the same thing somewhere here. Um, the most resource efficient spot would be just here. And all we have to do is get rid of 
the trees. Okay, there we go. Highest priority as well. Get all this done. Another drop off point is gonna go here. We'll send over some biofuel and I think we are safe to send this column over. Yep, unpause the building. Oh, we have to change it to... Oh no. There we go. All set, good to go. Oh, I think he started constructing things first. Well, that's fine. You can do that as well. No worries. So let's uh, leave you here and have a look at what's, uh, what's next on our list. Right, so I think we said that science is something we need to we need to improve and observatory takes quite a few gears and planks uh let's see how big you were again oh okay not too bad and this could be a very fitting place for you however pulling up the power might be a little bit annoying you can face it this way as well uh, let's see, what was our range again? Oh, right about here. Wait, let's uh, check it again. Oh, no, it, we might be fine, actually. I think we're fine. Uh, let's give it a try. We shall place you here. Pause you for a second. All right, we'll uh, build the stairs first, and then we'll see if we can reach it. I mean... Judging by the, how far we can go over here, I think we should be fine. But let's have it constructed and we'll check it again later. Right, so we are also going to need a couple more beavers here. I mean, columns are eventually going to take over some of the jobs. But for now, why not have a few more spare houses? And the way I'd like to do it is... It would be cool if it goes through the corner so it doesn't look so... Uh, straight, I suppose, but then again, oh yeah, it's going to look a little bit awkward. But which is more important? Hmm. Oh, uh, wait a second. Water's not going through. Let's uh, drop you a level. Right, what happens now? There we go. Okay, and the rest flows through. I think we just need this section here to be completed. Right, and you actually need to be slightly high priority, so let's leave you at that. Okay, I'm glad we noticed this floodgate was a bit of an issue. So now that this one's fixed, we can carry on with this. Uh, right, I would like to leave those canals open. But I suppose if we just cover up a tiny bit in here... That's not gonna hurt us too much. Okay, there we go. Uh, another thing I'd like to do is I don't want the beavers to access these houses from here. So what we what we could do is perhaps we place in a couple of ladders here instead, just against the houses like so. Okay, yep, and. Hmm, I guess we're gonna go through and connect you up with the staircase right about there. Okay, I mean, I know it's a bit of a less uh, direct route for the beavers, but I think they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll have access to all the things in, in here. They just have to go through the maze a little bit, but... Um, it's gonna be okay and what that means is we can get rid of some of the houses over here and maybe put in a few more inventor huts I mean I'd like to place a few more a few more buildings in here and it would be cool to leave it a bit more exposed if we hmm let's see we'll have to raise you up a little bit Maybe on platforms. Or levees. Um, <laughs> yep, yeah, you're definitely going to have to be platforms. Platforms, because we have the road going through here. Uh, whereas you, on this side... Since we have way more logs in here... And let's see, yep, 
ton of trees growing there as well, so it's not too big of a problem. We can place you just like so. And another building right there. Access. Oh, there we go. Access right there. And <laughs> maybe this corner will be a little bit higher. Let's do another one. Okay. Yep, a little bit different. I like it. And maybe just a set of stairs that leads in. Or do you know what? No. Let's uh, let's put it this way so we can do like rooftop terraces. Uh, another drought is coming soon as well. I don't... Hmm. I'd like them to have this completed. But we might not have... Oh, yeah. Barely have any construction beavers here. Column is out of fuel. Oh. Right. Uh, that's what's going to happen if we forget to send some fuel over. So let's do this real quick as well. We've got a new route... Uh, what's the problem with you? Can't distribute goods. Oh, I think I know why. Uh, oh dear. Okay, let's uh, give you a slightly more direct route. They have to go all the way around right now. I know it's a little inconvenient. But as soon as we get rid of those maple trees, we can put another road through here. Okay, maybe delete this one as well. Right, okay, there we go. What about the other one? Oh, you've, uh, you have actually cleaned this up pretty nicely. So we can fill this up with levees. Where? Oh, you just sat here. Right, no good. Carry on doing stuff. Are these out of range as well? Okay, it seems they are. So we're going to have to pull another road through somewhere from here. And actually, since there is so many logs in this place, we we could even start tidying it up a little bit. How far can you go? Okay, that covers pretty much everything. And what we'll do is we'll switch you over as soon as you've cleared up this space. How many logs do you have? Oh, wait a second. You don't have access to any of those logs because we haven't filled them up yet. Okay, understandable. Uh, slightly high priority and hopefully... Oh. Right. So we're going to have to empty some bit of a space for you as well to stockpile all the logs that you're about to harvest. Okay, here we go. Here's access. You're going to have to take a bit of a detour right now, but it's, uh, it's going to be fine any second now. Right, so let's leave you leave you at that. This section is going to take a little bit of time as well. When do we get our third column? 50%, so another 18 days. All right, so let's have a look at the top. Uh, 2.5 days, and this levy is almost complete. Okay. I think our next focus could be those dynamites. Yeah, let's, um, let's get these connected as well. Oh, sorry, constructed. And what this means now, since the levee wall is complete, we can just disconnect or remove those levees there. And voila. Wonderful. One of those little projects is now done. I mean, it took quite a bit of time. Since they had to carry some logs from all the way down there, up the hill, and then, yeah, pretty far for them. Anyways, let's take a look at this project over here. Um, maybe a high priority. I think we have enough treated planks. Let's see. Oh yeah, 220 gears, about a hundred. So yeah, definitely gonna need some more gears. Might build another one of those gear workshops as well. No power right now. That's okay. We might even do another windmill. It seems I... I was wrong. Our beavers have managed to, well, very... Very close to completing this dam over here. Uh, so that's that means we should be able to store a little bit more water here. 
and maybe even raise this to 2.5 let's see yep and the water still flowing through so that's that's very good seems they've decided to go go somewhere else where are you guys ones over there okay what are you carrying blanks uh what about you oh no disappeared anyways ah there we go here's a construction builder construction beaver and the last set or the last piece is now complete so cool okay another tiny project is complete so that's fantastic uh, i think when the drought starts as well and that's probably the where we have to cut the episode but uh what i'll do off camera is try and um, raise these sections a little bit more as well just so we can hold a bit more water in there and although this mountain looks pretty bare right now there's yeah very very empty uh, what i'll do is i'll we'll put some trees growing here just to make it nice and green i would also like to start constructing this dam so yeah what we need is oh we already have a beaver here well that's uh that's very lovely uh, what we'll try and do is we'll try and complete a set of stairs going from this side I think I was a little wrong to do it on that side although the set of stairs are going very far out right now I just need them to go down from somewhere here I mean I could probably bring them a little bit closer actually uh, but I'd like those stairs to go down directly from here because that is the uh, most direct route from our district center yep so that's something we're gonna do and also i think we'll have these houses complete and we'll place some more trees in here and also an observatory unless oh no that one's not complete yet okay not a not a biggie not a big problem that's fine uh we do have another column that's ready as well okay maybe 250 science points oh i mean we could change it but then that means we're only gonna have one in here and that's not too ideal is it i mean we could place you in this one instead uh let's see one yep jump over here now we got two columns working in this district center all right so you've cleaned up that space which is wonderful we'll block you in and let's say you're a slightly higher priority now uh, nothing to do well let's give you something to do now oh maybe we should construct this one first yep let's pause it have this one complete and then you can go back to cutting down the trees all right there we go let's uh, switch you over real quick start cutting down the trees and once you have enough trees maybe that's when you can start building up those levees yep it's definitely gonna take a bit of time but it's fine i'm sure we will be able to complete quite a bit of this where are you guys off to oh you're doing wait you have access to these levees here hmm okay that's not too bad right so that's a couple of things yeah that we'll uh, do off camera and try and have them complete pleaded for the next episode so definitely science is quite important and with this hill i think i've just realized that i haven't talked too much about what we want to do here um i guess we're gonna have our some of our beavers living up in this zone because there's a lovely little pool next to it maybe on this side i'm not entirely sure what to do with this just yet so i guess what i'll do yeah i'll work on a bit of maintenance and efficiency and hopefully we'll have some more ideas what to do with this area and this whole zone here as well another thing that i'd like to start doing is these batteries but the placement of them is to be confirmed as well because if this hill is where the beavers are going to live or at least some of them then i'd like to use this pool over here for their leisure activities so it wouldn't look very nice to stick those batteries in here maybe you can do it on the other side not quite sure yet but we'll see and lastly our mine 
is not very complete just yet. Um, I mean, I can't blame the beavers. They have been busy with uh, a lot of other construction projects. Why is this one not done yet? All you need is logs and you've got tons of them here. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. Maybe focus on that one first. So we can have a few more beavers building uh, our mine. But um, yeah, if we look at this mine real quick. Treated planks is going to be done very quickly. Gears is something we still need. Logs we have, just have to carry them over. And right now we don't have much power. So yeah, batteries will be very handy. But alright, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Cheers for all the, all the comments that you leave on the videos as well. And I'll see you in the next episode.